Welcome back to the show. Thanks for sticking with us. Fresh off their performance at the ITA All-American Championships, the men's tennis team is ranked 21st in the nation. We head to the McLeod Tennis Complex for an in-season look. The fall basically helps prepare the team just for, for their experience and for them to get more match play, and we need match play. But overall, for team ranking, things like that, uh, it's totally separate. Uh, but, but the most important thing is to get these guys to, to, to do a better job of competing and do a better job uh, learning strategy on the court, and, and so far they've done that. I'm having everyone back from last year is a privilege that not every team has. And, uh, and we're also adding a new guy, which is a quality player, and I'm sure he's going to make the, make the team even better. So uh, I think we have to take advantage of that. Because pretty much the whole semester we've been working really hard uh, on conditioning and giving uh, tennis a second uh, priority. So now it's much more about uh, hitting a lot of balls, making a lot of balls, uh, making a lot of adjustments, and just try to be more consistent. We're really trying to make to the Sweet 16. I think that's the main goal. We're all working really hard to, to get there. And yeah, as a team, I think the, the main thing, it's going to the Sweet 16, making to the Sweet 16, and then just continue playing good there, and maybe, I don't know, Final Four. This year, I think the, the Sweet 16 is not a goal, you know? I, I already see us there. I don't, I, don't want, I don't want that, you know, as a goal. I want more than that, and I think that Anything less than a top 10 ranking would be a little disappointing for me because I, I think these guys are really good players and uh, I think our team is really ready to do better this year. We've, we've made one Sweet 16 and we, we've had opportunities to make two, three or four of them. But at the same time, I just try to take it match by match. We have an extremely difficult schedule. We always play a very, very tough schedule. I believe we have one or two teams that are unranked on our schedule all year. So they're well prepared for playing the best of the best every year. And uh, if, if, we, if we play to our, to our abilities, which I'm sure we will, we're going to have an opportunity to be in that Sweet 16 and, and maybe be a top 10 type program. But, you know, college tennis is so strong that we could finish 10, we could finish 30. That's how deep it is and how close it is. So you really never know. But at this point, I feel very good about the way the team is competing and how hard they've practiced. Stay tuned for more Red Raider Weekly after the break. What is a teaching hospital? It's the future. It's where our passion for teaching and research leads to the best patient care. Where the latest technology saved my life. A teaching hospital is where I learn what service really means. It's teamwork. It's Texas Tech physicians caring for us. So, what is a teaching hospital? It's UMC. It's our hospital. When it comes to winning football games, the key is to build on your momentum. Don't let up, keep moving forward. That's my philosophy in sports, and it's my philosophy when it comes to taking care of my finances. Plains Capital Bank knows all about sustaining momentum. They're committed to the customers and communities they serve, and they've been supporting Red Raider football for 23 years. I'm a Plains Capital Bank customer because I go with a winner every time. Plains Capital Bank, strong, stable, and growing. <laughs> With the area's largest medical staff and broadest range of specialists, some of the world's most advanced clinical technology, and a long tradition for bringing the best in healthcare to the people of Lubbock and the region, we're redefining clinical excellence. For us, this is more than a business. It's a calling where faith meets the future of medicine. <laughs> 